Hi Sagittarius, oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday Sagittarius, if it's your birthday. Uh, if you're here for other other parts of Sagittarius in your map or what have you, uh, remember that the sun is going through Sagittarius's house in your map, okay? There's a light being shown on um, the target, if you will. It's a beautiful time of um, giving also. Um, giving and receiving, right, this month. So be open to that. Um, and Mary's Christmas or whatever you celebrate too, right? Okay, whenever you find this, I hope you're doing good. All right, so Sagittarius of these ones, I guess. Let's see these two. Aw, uh, the Two of Cups and Justice, wow. So this is a long, a deep, long commitment. It's like, this is, what I see is dedication. Good. Fairness. Love. Good. I love, I love in this deck, the two of cups are like, they're elders. You know what I mean? They're not like these young bucks that don't know anything. <clears throat> it's uh, people who, this is a deep love, right? It's love that stays and sustains. It's being happy where you are. Let's see the other two corners, Sagittarius. Ooh. So you have the seven of staffs, which is this woman sitting cross-legged, levitating things, understanding your own light. And then we have a circle of people, the Ten of Coins, which is all about having all the physical things. So this is alleviating stress, okay, out of relationships so that things can, <clears throat> other, rela other relations can deepen or relations can deepen via alleviating stress, right? No need to fight with anybody. It's just like, you're like, it's not stress melting away, it's you levitating it up out of your head. You know what I mean? Be like, okay, wait, I'm strong, I can, this relationship is strong, this is strong, I am strong. Um, being really grateful too, holy. Let's see the center. Oh, the daughter of coins, look at her watering her garden. Watering her plants. Maybe this is a granddaughter for some of you. This is also your inner, your inner child is like deep in your heart right now. Good. Good. This is how you're helping. So Libra has been helping you. This is also your second house, second, 11th, seventh house, if you know also, is what is helping you to alleviate stress. This could also be children helping you to alleviate stress or some of you maybe you need to just let go of control in how other people see success um i mean you can make a really good example you actually have here's you the mother of fire and the the woman of fire and the six of stabs which are to me this is a sagittarian card um so is she and both of these speak of a person that's very confident in themselves okay they uh they know how to sit quietly they know how to create what they need they put things together in a very beautiful way um they worked really hard to get here this is also hitting the mark you know what i mean it's like someone's been practicing centeredness Good. Good, Sagittarius. Oh, this is an awesome birthday reading. Thank you in a collective way. Very much. Okay, so then we have this diamond, right? We just made an X, which is about gifts. It's about relationships. Um, the kind of relationship where each person is their own person, right? And then... 
when they combined or in the same space, it's positive, right? Again, there's a lot of gratitude in it. Oh, I hope you had a good Thanksgiving too. I'm seeing, I guess it's holy day time, the end of the year anyhow. Let's see about this diamond. Wow, the Ace of Wands. The Four of Swords, the Three of Cups, and the and the World card, which I love this card. Wow, what positive energy, Sagittarius. Good. Good. Be grateful for your family. Be grateful for your job. Feel like there's volume, like something's gaining volume too. So something's either becoming louder or it's it's easier to hear, right? There's more. Um, it's there's like what is volume? It's it's a sound or a frequency that's that's information really, feeling that's um, expanding. I see lots of celebration here. Like people being grateful too. It could be someone's anniversary during this time. Um, it could also be where some of you uh, are having a grandchild. Or again, it's like the extension of family is a really beautiful thing. Um, maybe just the combination of like different ages in the family. You know, like appreciation for different could even be different ages like life that you've gone through right too if we're going to take this in a wider context let's see oh you know what if you've been i like this um a doll is the justice card and with the four of swords this could also be where someone finally gets a good night's rest maybe they they, they, someone puts themselves, this could also be wishing for what you want. It's like it, your intention matters so much and that helps it grow. I do see you letting go of stress. Oh, good. Good. I mean, and the funny thing is, is I don't actually see stress here. It's just I can tell that it's gone, you know, or that you have a power if something creeps in that you don't like to. It, there's more acceptance again with something. Good, 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 good. Uh, I would say that work and family is also awesome. Um Remember after you interact with a lot of people, <clears throat> especially if you're sensitive, you know, maybe some of you want to uh, treat yourself uh, to something like <clears throat> maybe it's a means of accepting or being a little softer about something. We mention the word appreciation a lot, right? I guess when that when that is there, a person can feel more at ease, right? When they're more accepting, they're more peaceful. I guess if you've been wishing for peace, if you've been putting intention to growing seeds of peace, feeling more, um, you know, open to... I don't know, less judgment, maybe. I mean, this could be self-judgment or whatever. It's, uh, 
again, I just see someone being so grateful. There's a ring here too. Yeah, there's a ring, two rings. They both have red in them, gold and red. I don't know if that's a ruby, like a golden ruby ring. It could be garnet also for some. Maybe one is ruby and one is garnet. It's Capricorn and Aries too. Um, I get this is also building inside of you. Good. Okay. So something balanced out, right? Something finally like found its comfort. And because of that, then a person can find their, uh, I see the word again, acceptance. And then they find their happiness through that peace. <clears throat> which helps something to grow. which again alleviates stress. It helps you to recognize more of your own power. I would also say if you're feminine, this is also, like if you're a female, this is also allowing others to, not, um, how do I see this? Allowing others to do for you, okay? There's a really awesome circle of friends here. I see really beautiful family stuff too. So if you're, cons if you're thinking about the holidays, if you find this then or whenever this is, this is a really good time for you. It's a really, really good time. It, you, like someone's just like, yes, they feel so good about it. I mean, I guess it goes back into a perspective thing, right? The way you want to look at it. But I see it's best to look at it with, um, a, well, I guess appreciation, right? Scorpio was also recorded on the same day as you. This is their card. Look how beautiful that card is. Um, you know, because in ways of time or other people or whatever, like, we don't know really how, like, we're not in control of any of that. This, that's kind of what this is, is like people letting go of control. And with that brings so much peace and again, growth, appreciation. Um, I would also say if you've been moon here, could have been, uh, maybe there was a feeling in relation to others or like a feeling that was like off. I see that being balanced out in this time. Um, Just a second. Who also in your friend group is like, um, where they feel really comfortable in themselves, like comfortable in their body. They, um, I mean, everyone gets shy. What's that about? The wheel. Um, well, no one's strong all the time, right? But but it's kind of like, who are you inspired by that's like different? Um, and I feel like you have so many examples of beautiful people in your life. That's so awesome. This is work-wise, family-wise. Uh, 
I also see that if any of you like are in a in a relationship and there's been like a you want more togetherness, I see that happening too. Um, this could be more passion, it could just be more love, it could be feeling better again about um, like sleeping well, you know. Awesome. What good energy, Sagittarius, thank you. This could also be in the heart of it is like you as a teacher, you know, um, because you know who you are gets passed down you know and around whatever you whatever you create you know whatever the thing that you love to do the thing that makes you happy your peace in yourself uh, um just a second This could also be sending like energetic kind of messages. Like uh, your power of prayer, I guess, is also really important. But remember that prayer doesn't necessarily come through words. You don't have any swords here, except the one in justice, but that one's quiet. It's like, it's more like, um, you know, say you water your plants, you know, or you make your bed or you um, go and sit on a swing, right? There's two swings here too. It's like you go and you swing for a second or you just appreciate the food you're eating or like th the path that you're walking. This also is sending out good goodness out it, it just it keeps spiraling out but it all starts within your own heart you know um then i see really i see good good growth good um how do i explain that card Well, it's like the soil was tilled in the heart or something like that, you know? Or maybe something came to shake it up. And, you know, we talked about this last month. Sagittarius has been through a lot, you know? Um, and so for you to keep steady, for you to keep, you know, it, it could have been really hard on you. And it's awesome that we're here now, right? So awesome. And so I see things filling in from now until spring also, now until like April, the next fire. I see January, February. That is awesome for you. Um, I see someone becoming stronger. Again, I see something growing. I also see your friendships growing. Um, maybe that's something you want to also think about, uh, especially if you're a person that doesn't get out a lot. Uh, to me, even though Sagittarius rules uh, travel, you're very uh, home-based uh, to me. Um, you, you know, you can sit in your little circle, so be open to the circle expanding because that's also, you can be comfortable in the circle that you're in, but you want to make sure that you're expanding outward, right? Because I see the circle growing here and there's parts of the circle that you haven't even found yet or haven't, it, when the spiral goes out, it's like there's new, there's newness. Um, I could also say that some of you, you might want to move your bed or maybe you want to, um, there's definitely peace with something with the family. It's really awesome. Again, there's like an acceptance. Huh.
Well, I feel like we should leave it like that. That feels right to me. You know, if you dig long enough, you always find things that are uncomfortable or whatever, right? Love is a rose, but you better not pick it. It only grows when it's on the vine. Right? So let's just leave it like that. Friendship, awesome. Relations, awesome. Getting, gaining some power back, some energy back, some creative energy. Totally awesome. Being inspired by other people. Sleeping good. Family's good. Work is good. It's connecting with others in like psychic ways. The garden's growing. Awesome. Good for you. I'm very, very happy for you. Keep spreading your love around. Keep watering. Keep, remember, prayer comes through anything that you do, right? I love you so much. Thank you for a wonderful year. Happiest birthday, if it is your birthday. Merry's Christmas. If, it, if you celebrate that, if not, um, whatever your holy day is, I wish you the best. Um, remember the gift of presence. CE is um, the best present that someone can give. But I also see giving, well, love is a great, love is a great present. You know, warmth, hugs, it, like sharing, appreciating, great presence. I wish you the best. I'll talk to you next time. Take care. Peace. <laughs>